from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now Hello everybody and welcome to another stream. Uh, yeah, this is Sync Simulator, so we're just basically getting a few players in and then we're going to lock the server from other people joining just so we don't spend the entire time looking at the screen. I think there's about um, seven of us in, so that's pretty good. That's going to be enough for a pretty good game here. As you can see, I've got the header trailer, which is customising it to suit the uh, the colours of the uh, the command which I've just bought and thank you to Taco B Gaming I did notice there was a super chat that popped through there uh, while we're on the startup page so thank you Taco B Gaming in fact there's another one from Taco B Gaming very good of you right so I've got the Matty Ferguson ideal here we've also got the Challenger over there and also there is a fence there's the fence header um, somebody must have driven off in the fence not too sure but what we're going to do uh, in case it wasn't obvious already, is go and harvest a field. Now, we probably don't actually own any fields at this stage, but we do have almost £3 million to spend, so that's not really an issue. Okay, we'll get a few more in, and then we'll lock it. Um, otherwise, if some people leave, it's suddenly become it's suddenly going to come uh, very empty, so that's not going to be uh, a great game. So we need to have, I would say, about 10 people in. Anyway, hello everybody. I can see a lot of people saying hi in the chat. So, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing very well. Um, yeah, I'm going to try not to have any 
or too much synchronizing. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate you. Is the stream going to be long? It's going to be either until half past 11 to midnight or until it crashes. <laughs> Hopefully it won't crash, but it has crashed in the past. It's, it's usually uh, fairly rare, actually, that it crashes, but it does happen. Yep. Either a lot of people are joining, or that is some serious synchronizing. Uh, John, hello from South Dakota. Thank you so much, John, and hello to everybody else in South Dakota as well. Right, so yeah, I'm just going to go and um, check out the map and basically see which field is best. Drop that onto there. I should be able to tow it with this, hopefully. How old is your Massey Ferguson 1220? It is, oh, look at that, pushing it around. It is uh, 1993, I think, but it wasn't used until 94, so arguably it's uh, 94. Um, yeah, anyway, that's a really good shortcut just across the field. We'll take a look at the map and we'll see exactly where a good field is. So it's actually um, so multicolored, so many different places that we could go to here. We own, oh, sorry, we did own, we did own those places. Right, I think it's lock off time. As soon as I get back onto here, I'm going to change the uh, the password. But of course, I have to just very, very briefly hide the password so that nobody else can uh, see it and join, because otherwise that would be kind of pointless. James, thank you so much for that. Synchronized simulator. It's all good. It always has been. So how many players do we have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So that's not as many as I was expecting. Okay, well, um, we'll get it to ten. We will. I'll, I'll be fair. We'll get it to ten. Let's go and buy the piece of land first. Right, so we're looking at ready to harvest, obviously. We do actually have one, field number 16. That is a sunflower field. It's tempting. Um, it would mean putting a sunflower header on, of course, which we don't have. So that's probably not going to be a wise idea. In fact, it looks like nearly everything which is here is either corn or sunflowers. I would say. <laughs> um, and we've got quite a few over here as well. I'm not too sure. They might be off the map. It, it's possibly a different area. Uh, so canola, is that ready? That's almost ready. Oh, no, it is ready. 15. We'll do 15. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll just get this next player in. Whoever it is, is very lucky. So, yeah, this at least gives me time to read the chat. I can see Nightbot is active as usual. Max says, I wish I could join, but I don't have FS19. Yeah, that's going to make it difficult. But, uh, you know, maybe one day. The server is hopefully going to be around for some time. Um, Dagwin, would you get a John Deere in real life? I have a John Deere mower. Does that count? I, I do have a John Deere mower. As for tractors, maybe an older one, not too sure. Uh, right, who joined? Somebody joined. Did I buy that? No, let's buy it. Okay, so we own field number 15. Should be a good one to go to. Who joined? Crownzilla. We'll let one more person in, and then we'll lock it off. So we're heading down here. I think everybody who is in the server is actually watching. If not, they can just do their own thing or follow. Doesn't really matter. Uh, this is, of course, assuming that I'm going the right way. My header is about to fall off the trailer. Please don't fall off the trailer header. Okay, right, let's, let's just go and pick that up then. Um, it would be better, actually, if we had a tractor towing that, because I, for some reason, hit the header when I was attaching. It's like it's too long. Maybe it is the wrong header trailer or something. Or maybe I just can't actually fit it to the trailer. Maybe I'm, I'm just useless at doing that. Anyway, I'm producing a traffic jam here. I usually am producing a traffic jam. It's all part of the fun. Darcy Lawrence says, I have a rare 1953 Ford 601 Workmaster tractor. I can't picture what one of those is, but it sounds very interesting. Yes, right, I've done it. So, let's continue. We actually are going to be going... Is there a road across there? Now let's just take a look here. We're going to here. I was hoping there'd be a we could go through the forest. We technically could go through the forest and drop down again. Uh, everybody else is probably going to go the more sensible direction. But yeah, we'll, we'll go. Um, we'll go via where we were before. 
we have been up here before uh, in the video a few days ago we were doing so much okay so Pets J is the final player to join uh, we've got Blocky Games in I think we've also got Lord Banana, Stormtrooper Andy K of course, Andy K is always in um, Die Drag, Connor Ethan, oh we've actually just got somebody else joined, that's very lucky Mr. Me has just joined Mr. Me no, FS19 is not cross-platform, uh, which is a shame for some people. But I think the game has always been stronger on PC, just because of the more mods uh, that you can get. Okay, so uh, hopefully this doesn't take too long. This will be the last sync screen that we see. Okay, so I'm going to put it onto the, uh, the intro page again. Oh. Who was that? Somebody managed to get in. When I put it onto the intro page, it's not some kind of malfunction. It would be me just basically going into the admin page and closing the server to the public. And then we won't see any more of these dreaded synchronizing screens. I wish they could get rid of them. Uh, Lars did actually explain why they couldn't, because it's just way too much to synchronize between each player. But it would be good if they could get rid of it. Come on, I want to harvest my field. I'm getting impatient. <laughs> I want to harvest the field. Oh, thank you, uh, IRT Gaming. Come on, synchronize. Nobody wants to see this. I need to very quickly get to the admin page. Come on. Farmer Wood, remember me last time? You, you the best... Good luck in FS. Thank you so much, Farmer Wood. Um, the name rings a bell, unless I'm getting confused with Peter Wood, possibly. I'm not sure. It's not all the mods, because I've only got about two. Right, here we go. I can still speak, but obviously. Yeah, nothing else. Okay. It's done. Nobody else is joining. Uh, sorry, anybody else who wanted to join. I just had to do it because obviously, as you've just seen, we were seeing absolutely nothing but the synchronizing screen, which is dull. I think we've got enough players anyway because it doesn't really need 16 players to harvest one field. So 10 of us, 11 of us, I think quite a few snuck in at the end there, so there could be 12. Uh, we're going to go up there. But yeah, we're going to go to a field, but we're going to go through the forest first, as you do. Mr. Me, hello from Serbia. Uh, Theo. You're the best. Keep making those videos. Thank you, Theo. Yeah, for anybody who has seen the uh, channel update today that I've put out, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a change with the way I make my videos. Um, basically going back to how I used to make them for FS15 and 17, some of 17. Uh, with 19, I, I didn't have the enthusiasm in some parts, mainly because of the lack of mods. So I was just sort of doing random things, which wasn't really the best for the viewers. So starting tomorrow, I'm going to the new map and we're going to be doing it hopefully like I did before so definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's video I do recommend watching it because uh, well it's, it's a longer video as well I'm going to try and make the videos longer because they've been like 16 minutes before I'm going to be over 30 minutes from now on so yeah definitely uh, should be a big improvement how many trailers do we have we've probably got one actually I need to go and buy some possibly two right so the field we're going to we might be able to get from going that way. Oh, that's going back up there. So we're going left. Such a, a good looking map though. Oh, by the way, I've also increased the bit rate for the stream. So this should be the best looking stream that I've done. It probably still doesn't look very good, but it should still be the best one I've done. The Lord Banana is here. And this is the field. With a very convenient place to put the header on. Also a very uh, convenient place to crash. Hello, Lord Banana. Surprisingly, I'm first here. It's, it's quite an achievement in itself. I don't know how I'm first here, but I am. Um, they might be doing forestry, actually. The other players might be doing forestry, or they might just be catching up. I'm not too sure. I think I probably should buy a trailer, actually, because otherwise there might be a shortage. Go for this trailer here. I get two. 
360p. If anybody's watching 360p, then it probably doesn't look good. Um, but it's surprising how many viewers do still have to watch in 360p. And it wasn't until um, I got this EE uh, internet that I was moved away from 360. Um, yeah, surprising. And some viewers have to watch in 144, 240. It's depressing stuff. But then there'll be some who can watch, you know, 4K <laughs> without any issues. Oh, I'm jealous of those people. Right, um, yeah, I, I, again, I have absolutely no idea of how many viewers we've got because of my stream deck no longer displaying it. It doesn't matter how many times I sign out of the stream deck and resubmit the information, I, I reconfigure it, it just refuses to display viewers from this channel. It's weird. So we've got somebody watching, we've got uh, Keaton watching 480. There's also a number of players, uh, viewers from uh, the 1080p group. Um, 727 viewers. Uh, Hakar game is from Tunisia. Arthur, how many hours does it take to make a survival? Thank you, uh, Arthur. It depends, actually. Um, I would say... The average is probably two hours, two and a half hours. Um, it, it, the editing, the editing takes longer than the video itself to, to actually record. Recording the video, less than an hour I'd say. But if I'm doing other stuff in the editing, the editing can take an hour and a half, two hours. It just depends really. Um, but good question, and it really can vary. Like the first ones I ever did, because it was my first time doing it. I think the first one took six hours. Um, but obviously that's because I had to make the templates for the dialogue and the, the shop, Dennis's shop, what a rip-off. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I had to make all those templates and it was it was very slow. But yeah, it, it's, it's definitely got faster because of that. Uh, so yeah, that is my simple answer to your question. What is my dream tractor? Depends what you uh, define a tractor as, really. It sounds like a strange thing for me to say, but obviously a tractor can be anything from a compact tractor at 13 horsepower, or a quad track, or anything even bigger than that, a big bud or something. So, I don't know. I, I really do like the Massey Ferguson 4700 series. I think they're really nice tractors. Uh, I know the 4600 series had some issues, but that's now gone, and it's been superseded by the 4700 series, and it seems like a really good mid-range tractor for small holdings, small plots of land and stuff, looks great. But yeah, obviously any tractor could be great, <laughs> any brand. Uh, Jason, thank you to you as well. At this rate, we've got three of us in here, we're going to be munching through this field in just a few minutes time. Um, Dylan says, if I gave you a 6290 Massive Ferguson, would you take it? I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I definitely would do. That is a decent tractor, I'd love a tractor like that. Um, but I don't think there'd be many people giving them away. Right, I'm 33% full, so in my book, that's that's enough to unload. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Only a multiplayer, just to keep the other players happy and busy. What's your favourite combine harvester? I, I do like the class combine harvesters. I think they're very nice. Right, that's going to be enough for... Oh, look, we've almost finished. I'm actually doing the finishing part here. Fishing Craft Vlog says the Massey Ferguson 4700 series is my dream tractor as well. I don't know what it is about them. I'm not too keen on the one without a cab, the platform one. I'm not too keen on that. But the one with the cab, it just looks so great. It looks so multi purpose, it looks good. Um, obviously, it's very capable because it's like 75 horsepower, possibly going up to almost 100. Um, I don't know the exact spec and stuff, but. They just seem so capable, especially as they can have the front loader as well. So, uh, hmm, yeah, the 4700 series. How is Stocko Glaws doing? I don't know. I know that he did put a video on yesterday after another uh, brief departure. I think it was almost three months, but yeah, he's, he's back again, so that's good. Are you going to be doing a Let's Play on Old Stream Farm? Yeah, I really am hoping to. At the moment, my schedule is to do Monday to Friday as uh, Mislingen, 
But then uh, I'm hoping, once I've actually got into that series, to then do two days a week of one map and three days a week of another and alternate. So one week it's two of Mistlingen and three of the old stream farm and then the week after it's vice versa. So that is my plan. But at the moment I'm, I'm going to do five days a week because otherwise I'm not going to have enough time to actually get the, the series going. And getting the series going is the hardest part. Once it's going, it sort of keeps itself going. Jason, hello from Northern Indiana. Hello, Jason. Well, <laughs> we actually have almost finished. I did buy four combine harvesters. It's probably a good job we don't have four over here. But this is the, the new ideal. This is the one which has been posted to ModHub recently, where you can actually customise the colours and the brands. Before it was just the, you know, the standard ideal. So I think it's very nice. You can have the Massey Ferguson and stuff. What happened to the series on Peterborough? Peterborough is a place in the UK. Um, I, oh, Peterville. Peterville. I, well, I, I definitely want to do it. It's such a good looking map, but I can't really do it until it's released. And I, I don't think it's in testing currently, because it did fail the initial test. Uh, and I think it's been amended. So whenever it gets put out again, hopefully I can do it. Right, let's put the auger out, and we'll go into here and basically take a look at the combine harvester in the store, just so I can show you if, you if you're not familiar with it. So that's the one you're probably really familiar with, but you can also have the different colours now, so you know, Massey Ferguson grey, Massey Ferguson red, and um, yeah, you can even mi mix it up if you want to, that's the seats, you can see the interior green uh, rim, obviously you can change, and then you can also have just wheels if you want to and then there is the logo on the side. So it seems so nice. That's a bit of a, a mix up there. But um, yeah, for example, this one here, which I've already customized, it looks good. I think it looks really good. So what I need to do is put this back onto the header trailer. We could really do with another field. Uh, the issue is finding a field. We can do field 16, but we have to go and swap over to some sunflower headers, because it is sunflowers over here, as you can see. So, yeah, what should we do? We could just, what's that field there? Field 22. Oh, hang on, potential. We have field number 22. Let's go over to field number 20. Blocky Games has very kindly brought the trailer over, so we'll drop it off. Wait for it to be manoeuvred. I've been crashed into it by the pink thing. Pink Zeta thing. No, not Zeta. Valtra. I'm I'm wedged. That'll do. What is your favourite map? That is a very, very tough question. Um I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's just too difficult to choose between all the different maps there's been over all the different games. So yeah, we're going to head down here to fur number... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow them, that's a good idea, that way I can't get lost. If I don't follow them, I will end up in completely the wrong place, so it's a very good idea. Is the Marvel Manor Farm series ending? I've got two more streams to do, and then we're going to be bringing that to a close. And... Uh, yeah, the reason for it, I'm trying to speed things up because I need to do Peterville as well. And obviously I want to do the new uh, Mistlingen, so yeah, I've got to move on. It'll, it'll bring it to episode 30 anyway, so that's fine. Episode 30 is a natural stopping point. Why did I drop the front attachment? Uh, because we're moving to a different field. You probably could keep it on, going over here, because it seems really wide, but... You never know, I could get to a really narrow place. Where did Crownzilla go? Left the server. Oh no! Yeah, I, I really am interested in the old stream farm map for an LP. I did do that though for 17. I usually prefer to do completely new maps, but that is a very good map. So, yeah, I'm not going to uh, miss out on it. Ah, MJ Modding's here. Hello, MJ Modding. I'm very good, thanks. How are you? Right, I just need to wait for my header, which is just back here. 
and believe it or not I wasn't last I was not last to the field this is an achievement Yeah, what does the bitrate look like to everybody? If you're watching in uh, maxed out resolution, does it look okay? Because it, it was at 3,200 before, it's now set to 3,500, which technically should make it look much better. Should do. Um, hopefully it does. If I speed things up, we could make this look really good. Three combines in a row. Come on, unfold. Yes. Right, looks like we're on chop mode. Hopefully I'm on chop as well. Good. Uh, Reese says, it looks good. That's good to know. Okay, so yeah. Three combines in a row. Farming life. See, so ignore everybody who doesn't donate. Nope. Most of the ones that I've run out so far are not donations. Wait. Um, hello, Billy. Here's a bit of a queue here. Jack, hi, Dagwin from Northern Ireland. Hi, Jack. Calculated responder. Are you going to try the Australian farm map? Um, I have done. We, we did actually do the Australian map or a Australian map in what well, two streams back? I think it was. It was good. It was very big though. <laughs> that was the only issue. Um, but that's not really a complaint. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be big. But you know, I, I did enjoy it. It's very open. Okay, I'm gonna have to back up here. MJ Modding says it's being re-uploaded tonight. So that's some good news there. Very, very good news. So I wonder how long it take for. Giants to process it all. Cam, thank you so much for that, Cam. Much appreciated. No message, but even so. There are some weeds in this field. Can you try Air Islands? That is definitely a good map to do in multiplayer for streaming. It would be really good. My favourite tractor is Massey Ferguson. It's actually amazing how many times I get asked the same question. It's like everybody says, what's your favourite tractor? That is my favourite brand. Um, but like I said, if you're being model specific, it's going to be much more difficult to choose. Oscar says, I decided to get rid of my Hoover because all it did was gather dust. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Very good joke there. Will you do another ETS2 stream? Definitely. Yeah, I want to do one very soon, actually. And I still want to do a charity one, but it's just sorting it out that's the issue. I don't know if anybody's interested in games like The Elder Scrolls or Half-Life, but there is a, another YouTuber called Veriax, V-E-R-I-A-X, uh, who is doing a charity live stream, 24-hour live stream, on, I think it's the 20th of April? I think it is. You have to go and check out his channel, but um, yes, Variax, definitely someone worth uh, checking out. He doesn't do farming simulator or anything, but yeah, he's going to do a big live stream. How full am I? 34%. Yeah, this field has definitely not been fertilised. When is the next Machinery Restorer video out? real withdrawal symptoms here um, it is going to be if if I get the parts, I'm waiting for some parts for the next thing um, it's going to be hopefully at the end of this next week hopefully, I, I can't say it depends how much time I get but I would love to have it out by the weekend I understand that Virtual Farmer is doing a 24 hour live stream as well if he is then uh, that's very very good some good dedication there. I can imagine it's quite difficult, actually. Oh, I, I've just hit this thing. Yeah, I can imagine a 24-hour live stream is difficult. John, again, hello. Um, do you have a favourite crop? Something tasty. Yes. 
<laughs> in farming simulator, I'd just probably say a cereal crop like wheat or barley. Um, but in real life, I don't know, probably something like peas or something, because they're very tasty. I love peas. Um, yeah, pea harvesting and stuff. I'd love to have pea harvesting in the game. It would be really good. Robert, hello from Wales. Hi, Robert. Thanks for your super chat. I think there's quite a few viewers from Wales, actually. Oh, look, I actually managed to harvest the crop and leave the weeds behind. That's weird. Do I prefer Chevy or Ford? Uh, that's the wrong... I'm the wrong person to be asking that question. Uh, it doesn't really apply to the UK as such, I don't think. We do have Chevrolet and Ford, but uh, not really with the pickups. We do have Ford pickups, actually, but not really Chevrolet pickups. Bensim from Belgium here. Calvin from uh, California. It's not that you join the server. No, the server is now closed. Um, so if anybody is attempting to join the server, it won't actually work. I had to lock it off because we we're just getting synchronizing screens continually. So um, yeah, unfortunately, it is now closed. How much do you have to pay to become a patron? I don't think there is a, a, a minimum amount. I think you could have like 50p. I, I really don't know. But I might be wrong, because obviously I didn't set up Patreon. Colin from the Isle of Skye. It's a very interesting place, Isle of Skye. Although it does rain quite a bit. As you'll know, because you, you live there. Although you might be able to argue that it doesn't, possibly. <laughs> I don't know. Did you hear that they're making Lizard stuff real life brand? Yeah, I did. Um, it was put out on April the 1st. April Fools. However, obviously I don't know the truth behind it, but Giants have managed to have a tendency to actually produce things which they initially had as a joke, or possibly had as a joke. Um, for example, the Commodore 64 edition, they published it on April Fools last year. I think nearly everybody thought it was an April Fools, because why would you want Commodore 64 Farming Simulator? And then they went and made it. So I don't know. Um, they might make a real one. If they do, I'd love one. <laughs> I would love a lizard tractor in real life. It'd be incredible. They say they're making a certain amount. We will see. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they did do it, though. I really wouldn't be surprised. We're really munching through this field as well. Almost finished. Already. And I haven't actually unloaded yet, but when we do, it's going to be like 15,000 litres. Now here is Andy K. Ready to take this load. And actually, I think this will fill that trailer. I'm fairly sure it will do. Have you considered streaming American Truck Simulator? That is actually quite an interesting uh, question, because I think... I would enjoy streaming it. I wouldn't enjoy just doing a, a video, I don't think, because I prefer ETS2. But if I did like an adventuring stream, because I don't really play it much at all, I think that'd be quite interesting. Snoofs01, your name just made me whistle. <laughs> Snoofs01, I would love to see you play the Elder Scrolls. Um, yeah, I, I have actually done some Elder Scrolls before. Not very much, I just did two streams of Oblivion. But the problem is, it's not the game. It's because my audience here is obviously here for simulation games and whenever I do the Elder Scrolls, obviously it doesn't go down terribly well because they're not most of my viewers aren't here for Elder Scrolls, so it kind of doesn't work. Um, anyway, we've finished. But I love the Elder Scrolls games, it's just I don't think I could stream them. Tim, thanks for that. Are you going to put Letton on FS19? Letton Farm isn't my uh, map, so I can't do that. I would love it to be, but it's not my map, so... At the moment, it just has to stay 
wherever the modder wants it to be. Um, Nathan, I'm doing very well, thanks. Right, let's take this off. Yes, as uh, Connor says there, not here for the Elder Scrolls. Which is exactly my point about my audience not wanting Elder Scrolls. There will be some. Some of my viewers will love it, but the majority won't. Right, where are we off to? I guess I should be asking myself that question. We do have a variety of different fields to go to. However, they're mostly... Yeah. Not cereal crops are not ready. RK Smithy. Thank you, uh, RK Smithy. I think we should do field 16, because it's a field we own. The issue is we'd have to change headers, because that is a field of sunflowers. So, yeah, if we go and um, get some sunflower headers, that would be a good start. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely be a good start. Which ones? I think probably the Capello. Would it be? That one there. That would be a good one to go for. Now, there's definitely three of us. So if I buy three... There we go. Now I just need to get back to the store, which probably isn't too far from here. I'm still experiencing the map, so I don't know exactly where it is. Oh, it's where Ethan is. Right, okay. So we have a river to cross. We can't cross here. Is that Gary Turner I hear? Uh, well, I don't think he's here. Pretty sure he's not. Hopefully not. It doesn't say much. Such a really fast combine, this. Did you notice that I had fixed the issue with uh, the lag when I go into first person? Smooth! Makes a big change. Look at the speed of that truck. Uh, right, so how do we get there? Turn left here. Yeah, I think... I think this is the place to go to. Somewhere up here. Yep, there we go. Yes, I've made it. <laughs> Hello there. A player is called Hello there. Right, so there are the two headers which I have purchased. I should have bought three. Did I get three? I thought I did. Uh, Darfino says, well, anyway, hope you see this message. I'm looking to buy a PC from Computer Planet, and I'm a bit concerned about them delivering it to Ireland. £5,000 is a lot to spend on a PC. I guess you have to email them or something, or ring them up and ask them about insurance, or just if it's tracked or whatever, I don't know. Uh, if they say they'll ship to that, I guess they will do. I don't know. I don't work for Computer Planet, but £5,000 for a computer, that is expensive. Must be a good one. Now, we could go across here. Um, I don't know if we need the uh, the trailer. Ah, yeah, we do. It would be wise to get a trailer. Yeah, five thousand pounds would be. Like, one of the best PCs around, I would have thought. My one cost, I think, 1500 But I have upgraded it since then. I put the £550 graphics card in. So, that's boosted it. I've also put a new SSD in, and also... What else did I put in? I upgraded something else as well. Oh yeah, I just had to change a few wires around. Oh yeah, new power supply. PSU. You can get a good one. I've put a 750 watt power supply in. But, um... Yeah, you can get them for like £30, but I spent £80 on a decent brand. I don't know if it would actually last longer. I suppose it would do. There 
There we go. I think it was a wise idea taking that off there. Where, <laughs> where do we go? Somebody else has made it. I'm going to have to drop down again from the forest. The forest is a good cut through. But it would have been wiser just to go that way. Somebody is bringing their header with them. That's not going to end well. That header has to go through the trees. Who is that? <laughs> Whoever that is, is going to have some fun in a minute. I have no idea who that is. Yes, I must just remind everybody that the server is closed, so if you want to join, unfortunately you won't be able to. It will just keep rejecting your login. I've got the RTX 2070, I think. I'm really bad with numbers. Bunny Warren knows, because Bunny Warren pointed me in the right direction. It's definitely a 2070, I just don't know if it's an RTX. I guess it is. Right, so, we are at the top of here. It's like a very good viewpoint. Um, now, I could follow the track, or I could just plop off the edge, which I don't think it would be a very good idea. Though, it looks like this edge isn't really worth plopping off. There we go, this is the field. Yes, this is it. Uh, Bunny, War Bunny Warren has just confirmed the uh, the graphics card, which is good. Um, oh no, my, my thing... Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Blocky Games have lost my header. Um, where... Where is Blocky? Oh, there. Wait a second, that's pretty much at the... Uh, the store. Uh, Farmer Tom. Let's see if Farmer Tom is available to pick up the header wherever it is. Where did it go? There it is, over here. Yep, that's definitely form of fit. Hey, thanks, Farmer Tom. Oh no, it's it's also the wrong way round. It's up against the fence. Love the detail though. The detailing here is just great. Um, yeah, that's troublesome. <laughs> um, yeah. I wish I could help out, but there is actually nothing I could do. I could. I know it's alright, sort of it. I could have got a telehandler or something, but that's fine. There we go, nice. I'll look at the clearance as well, although it does seem to be hitting it. Just about hitting it. Okay, there may be some time. Just. Shuffling around. I'm going to go up into the air. We'll get an overhead view. It's all fun. Here we go. We've launched. Uh, so, yeah, obviously we're going over to that field there. I wish I could point, but I can't do. Uh, so they've got to go that way. Yeah, it's probably a faster way anyway. Just go across there. Straight across the field. Ooh, I teleported. Oh no, the stream's dying. Did it, if it, it might have just frozen there, not too sure. I did notice that the uh, the thing went red, which is never good. When is Oakfield? I have absolutely no idea. I don't have uh, early access on that, so I, I don't have a clue. If the stream did die for a second there, it must have been just literally a split second. Well, I'm ready. Oh, the train! There's the train. Apparently the stream is fine. Uh, on OBS it went red and went to zero, so it must have just died for about half a second. Now we play the waiting game. They've already started. Again, it's a big field, but for us with this, it's going to be it's going to be nothing. Munch through it in no time. 
Owen says the stream is fine. That's really good to know. Um, at least it's not doing that weird thing which you did before. Like a stream, I think it was three streams back. Every ten minutes or something, it would just keep dying off. It just did it again, I just noticed, but I don't know how it's coming through. Hopefully it's coming through fine. Now, uh, my trailer. Let's track it. My header, I should say. Oh, where is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's somewhere over there. I've lost it. I could probably have towed it myself. It's just... It was already attached to uh, the tractor. If I go over this side, I think that's where they'll be coming from. So that'll save a bit of time. Unless they are coming from over there, not too sure. Uh, yep, yeah, they are coming from this direction. How do you get through? Here? Okay, so I'm just going to back up and wait for it to appear through these trees. Uh, no, I don't think there is a script lock. You can't lock the header to the trailer. Usually there is like one which you don't necessarily know about, uh, so it does lock it on a bit, but it's not that effective if you clip it on something. However, I don't think those headers are actually suited for those trailers necessarily. I'm here, and the header trailer is here. And I'm guessing the header is actually not on the trailer. Oh no, it is. It's over there. That's good. Yes! Live tracking! Owen, right, I'm off. Uh, Dago got a busy day tomorrow. Keep up the good work and thanks for your videos. Night and night, everyone. Thanks, Owen. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you have a black screen, refresh your page. What Tamiya trailer are you getting? I have flatbed trailer and Scania R620. I actually already have it. It's the uh, container. The container trailer. Right, okay, let's get back to my combine harvester. Let me just tab through everything very quickly. Okay, let's just tab through everything very quickly again. Uh, okay, let's just tab through everything very quickly. I think someone's been selling stuff <laughs> before I had to go through everything really fast. There it is. Okay. And there is my header. How are we going to approach this? If I go around the other side... Yeah, that'll do. So, possibly for the first time in FS19 for me, I'm, I'm going to do some sunflowers. I don't think I've done any in in, in 19. Um, so, yeah, this might be technically something new, although I think it's very similar to 17. How tall are those sunflowers? They seem quite low. I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe they're a special variety, so that they're not too tall. If you have a black screen, please do refresh. Hi, Trucker186. Start your server again. This is the server. This is the uh, multiplayer server. Do I own my own private save game to play when not filming? Technically, yeah, but it's not necessarily private. Um, yes, if you get the black screen, please do refresh. It should resolve the issues. I don't know if when you get in the black screen, you're just losing the, uh, the video or if you're actually losing the sound as well. I didn't realize how fast you could go with a sunflower header. I very rarely do this. The problem with a live stream is there aren't any time lapses. Yeah, it would be it would be incredible to be able to time lapse real time. <laughs> It'd also be most likely impossible. Although I, I 
I don't know. No, I don't think anybody can actually time lapse real time. That would be crazy. That means somebody has invented the time machine, which really would be a, a very destructive piece of equipment, potentially. And I don't think you could ever invent a time machine. It would be hard to believe that one could ever be manufactured. Or even designed. Tom says, do you ever get bored of 19? Or FS in... I'm guessing FS in general. Uh, yeah, definitely. But only for like a, a day or something. And then I'm back into it again. Sometimes I do just think, oh, I, I don't really fancy playing FS. So that's when you'll notice me doing other games, which is quite rare actually, but there has been days in the past where I've just done ETS2 without a, an FS video. But usually when I'm bored with FS, it is just something which lasts 24 hours, and then the next day I'm really excited about playing it again. It's just an addictive game. Something about it just keeps you wanting to play it. So, uh, yeah, that is my answer to that. I think everything, anything could get boring. There's no such thing as something that could never get boring. Right, I would say, if you if you won a million pounds every day, it might seem incredibly exciting at first, and it would be, even to me. Uh, that sounds like a strange thing to say. Um, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you won a million pounds every day, you would actually get bored of it, I think, because that's 365 million pounds a year, and that's just boring. What would you do with such money? But it's the same with anything. Like... I don't know, you might love apples or something, but if you had to eat an apple, or every, like several apples every day, or an apple every hour or something, it's going to get boring. So, yeah. But no, a million pounds, yeah, I don't think anybody would turn that away. Do you recommend the SATIC sign panel? Bought a Logitech G920 and wanted to see. I don't use it. I used to use it for FS17. I don't use it for 19. Um, it's a decent thing. But I, I think they're going to do something new um, for 19. I don't know exactly what the details are, but I think Logitech and Giants are doing something for 19. We are motoring through this. Do you know if uh, there are any grain trailers for this? Where is Hello There? Is that hello there? It is, I think. It's just I've got the uh, fly mode switched on. It is. Uh, yes, there are. I can buy one. We'll get the distinction. I think the distinction can carry sunflowers. Yes, it can. Orange? Nah, you can't get orange. Orange? Kind of. Ah, I have actually produced a traffic jam. There won't be many traffic jams in a field. And it looks like I have the job to finish things off. Anti-K is desperate to unload, or fill up, actually. I'm desperate to unload, there we go. Well, I'm desperate for the Combine to unload anyway, not me personally. And there we go. Technically finished. <laughs> yeah, those poor six just sat there, lonely. Let's get them. Oh, let's crush them first, but yeah, we'll get them. I've not finished, Andy. Andy! I know you're watching this. Andy! There you are. Bit of extra. Um, no, I haven't got any model farm coming up soon, but I, I'm hoping to do some more model farm in the future. It's definitely not finished. It's, it's far off finishing. Um... So, yeah, just you have to keep waiting for Model Farm. 
it's kind of at the bottom of my priority list. <laughs> Andy definitely heard me. Uh, right, I'm going to finish that off. I thought I'd finish back there, but apparently not. There is more to this field. I currently play with keyboard and mouse, but I'm considering a G29 wheel. Would you recommend it? Yeah, I would. It's a funny one. It's, I've got my second one now. This is my replacement. This one is perfect. It doesn't do much squeaking. Um, it is very smooth. It's smoother than the G27, after all. Um, but the first one I got had a terrible squeaking problem. So I think, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. If you do get one which squeaks horrifically, you'll have to return it. Uh, I think they have a two-year warranty anyway, but if you return it immediately, there should be no issues anyway. Because, uh, yeah, I was going to keep the squeaking one, but the squeaking actually got worse. So I replaced it, and all is good. So, uh, it's a good wheel, if you don't have the squeak. Now, where to? I don't know where we're going to. We have actually managed to get through three fields. Do we have any more sunflowers? Field number six, is that ready to harvest? I think it might have been harvested. I don't know, what's going on in field number six? Anyway, there's 26. Ah, 26, yeah, we have 26. We can explore that side of the map. Okay, so I'm hoping that the trailer is going to follow. Uh, who's got it this time? Stormtrooper, possibly. Uh, unless that's somebody else's trailer. Yes, yeah, Film 26. Somehow we can get to it. This is the forest that we took down in the uh, episode a few days ago. And there is a random moving tree. Uh, some say your mouse is too loud, but I, but it's satisf it sounds satisfying. I've not really noticed the mouse. I know I do get a lot of people saying that it is too loud, but I guess that's the thing. <laughs> when you have a microphone just above your head, and you've got a mouse which you have to click, you're going to hear it. Oh, we've got a bit of a traffic jam. Um. We have a roadblock in the form of Lord Banana. And that was scary. Some serrations just appeared from behind. So you can actually go through here with the header attached. That is surprising. Well, we'll head over to this field number 26. And depending on the size, it might be the last one, possibly, uh, that we do. If it's really small, though, there will be time for another. Andy K is in the lead. Andy K is already on the road, which leads to 26. It would be nice to see you do another mini multiplayer series where it's just you and one or two others on one farm, like you did with Chainsaw that time. It would, and uh, actually, potentially, there is a, a good idea in the future uh, with some Discord members, possibly. But it just depends. I think, yeah, I'd have a limit of four people. Will you open the server or start a new one soon? The server closes now, when I'm not in. Um, so, it'll be open again. We'll be doing another video on here, very soon. I'll post it on the community page when we do. Uh, when I do open it. So, uh, yeah, just keep an eye out. If you're interested in joining. So, that is the field. We actually do have some canola here as well. Not a very big field. Obscure Serenity. I'm yeah. I'm going to be doing that approach anyway for the next series starting tomorrow. There'll be no random adding money in. So yeah, we're going to go back to a. I don't like calling it realistic because it's not realistic, and if I call it realistic, I just then get insulted for not being realistic. So I'm just going to call it 
a more serious let's play basically sim uk good evening darwin hope all is well very good thank you sim uk very good to have you here this evening um hopefully you're doing well as well uh where is my header everybody's here but the header uh uh hang on where is my header stormtrooper pretty sure stormtrooper has it so it is possibly wrapped around a tree possibly we will see there it is and yes as predicted it's wrapped around a tree there is header there is tree and there is a tree harvester pulling a header out of a forest the things you see on here it might work I'll get a wheel loader if that doesn't work yeah I'll get a wheel loader that would be a wise idea I think they, uh, they they can probably start in the field back there we may be some time uh, are you going to do some more vlogs on your mower yes I am yeah I'm actually still halfway through the uh 50 hour service, I'm actually almost at 60 hours now, I still have to do the gearbox because uh, obviously at the same time I'm still using it so I can't do everything in one go I think we'll go to the other side and push it back out of interest, how many viewers are there? let's give it a good push It does seem very stuck. Hang on, we, we can't even move it because the combine has to pick it up. So that's going to be fun. And although you would imagine that this thing could actually just grab it and pick it up, I don't think it would be able to. I can imagine it's got a collision. IoT Gaming, I'm off Dagwin. See you later, great stream. Thanks, IoT Gaming. See you later. Right, let's try and grab this thing. Yeah, as you can see, it's got a collision, so... There's not going to be a great deal of progress here. I think we'll reset it, and we'll reset the combine as well. Because <laughs> nothing's going to happen. Uh, let's just... Yeah, let's just... Uh, I'll back up with this, otherwise it's going to be detecting it. Reset. And we should have a combine... Hopefully that was my combine. Possibly not. I hate doing that. You gave up too easily? I might have done, but it would mean bringing the combine back anyway, so it's not really worth it. Right, okay, so we still have another problem getting to the field without hitting a tree it looks like it probably is quite open over here so it should be fine uh, but we'll soon find out is that the road? yeah that's the road it's actually a really good looking road you know as roads go it's good looking I'll probably get up there and everybody will have just disappeared It'll all be harvested, and there'll be a tumbleweed just blowing in front of us. Well, they're definitely harvesting, because I can see the combine. Uh, what do we have left? Oh, a fair chunk. Oh, it's just weasel. So that explains that. We just have one combine harvester here. So let's get it unfolded, and then we can get this thing harvested. Off we go. I think the reason why we're getting through these fields so fast though is not only because we have multiple combines but because we're going so fast. We're harvesting at 9 miles per hour which just seems extremely fast. Um, I know for wheat and things I think you're around 4. Depending on moisture, denseness of crop, as many 
factors that come into it. I'm just pleased to have the game smooth again because it was really frustrating when it was just lagging continually. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, I realised my primary drive, the C drive, was full. I had 28 megabytes left on it, and uh, I checked the drive, and there was there's nothing installed on it except for Windows, and uh, that's it. Anyway, I discovered that uh, Adobe Premiere Pro had its caching settings. It, the cache was set to never delete any of the cache. Um, so, over all the videos that I've ever produced, it's just stored them. And there was over 100 gigabytes. So I've now set it to delete it every 22 gigabytes just to keep everything running smooth. That was a part of the lag. It wasn't all of it. Um, it it's many different things. Three different factors came into it. The full hard drive, fraps, which still creates lag, um, and also the game. The game was set wrong, the graphics were set completely maxed out, and for whatever reason it was still, it, it was producing these big frame rate drops. When you go into first person it would just freeze, but as you can see, that is so smooth. So that's good, that, that is sorted. If you see lag, then I, I guess it's just the game loading or something. Or it could be the, it could be the internet. Gary says, I keep expecting a time-lapse when Dagoin is harvesting. <laughs> it's a live stream. Yeah, you're not going to see a time-lapse. We've already mentioned this, actually. And, uh, yeah, if you ever see a time-lapse in a live stream, it's either a pre-recorded video or somebody has very cunningly designed a time machine. Good night, VF. Yeah, we're going to be finishing in a minute anyway, so we're just going to get things wrapped up here. You're trying to join, but it's not letting you know. It won't let you. Uh, the, the stream is currently underway, so the server is locked. Oh, sorry, Weasel. Yeah, the, it's locked. Um, the password has been changed just briefly. Hello, Andrew K. Jack, off to bed. Dagger, hope you stay well and have a good one. Thank you, Jack. You too. I'm missing quite a few bits here. Um, is this the last field that you're harvesting? Yes, it is. We were going to be closing the uh, server very soon and also finishing the stream. Can a GTX 770 video card play this game? I've no idea, but I know there are websites out there where you basically get it to check to see uh, if your system is capable of running a certain game. Just be careful, though, because I know that there are some out there uh, which will make you download something to your PC and it could be infected with a virus, so uh, yeah, just be careful. The best one's the way you just submit the information instead of it getting to, uh, you know, actually check your system. But yeah, we've almost finished. Beginner biker, I've been here the whole stream. It's dedication, we have, we've definitely harvested many things here many fields, four fields and quite a bit of messing around. Right, who wants this load? Andy Kay's having the load. Um, right, well, obviously we have finished the field so we are going to be finishing the stream as well. If you have any final questions then please do post them now so I can see them. There's a bit of a chat delay so it takes a bit of time to come through. drop off the header. There are many headers, it's true. Yet yeah, many headers everywhere. Phil Bill is trying to watch two streams at one time. That's going to be challenging. What kind of PC do you have? Mine is a custom made one by... Um, Computer Planet. Sim UK, thanks for the stream. Good night all. Thank you, Sim. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, why is it you never see my messages but you see everyone else's? It just depends. 
Um, just depends whoever I see. I just look at the chat and see, basically, uh, the first one I see I read. There's so many in there. 24 hour live stream for 500k. It's unlikely. <laughs> it's really unlikely. Uh, I wouldn't have enough data anyway to do that, I wouldn't have thought. Any recommendations for a graphics card? Well, I've got the RTX 2070, which is a very good card, but I don't think you need to have anything quite as good if you don't obviously have the budget for it. Um, there are many other very good alternatives. Is Chainsaw also recording? I have no idea. Chainsaw 100 is not in the server. He might be recording a video. Um, yeah, I think that is pretty much pretty much concluding. Apparently the minimum graphics card is a GTX 650 or an AMD Radeon HD. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's a good place to stop. So thank you so much to everybody who has uh, gave, given a super chat. Really is appreciated, like I always say. Always appreciate it. Um, very generous of you all. And of course, thank you to everybody who's just tuned in. Just as, uh, just as good of you. Because uh, it's just you know, great to have the support. So, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now. Disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride